Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening, good evening. It's great to see many of you here again. And then, and today we're going to talk about uh, talk, talk about the technology um, which you all might already have heard. I hope uh, at least. And well, since you're here, <laughs> and of course we have many great topics to cover. And um, and I thought that this time I will bring in some news as well. I picked up many, many, well, some few, five, six um, um, different news from our back office just to share them with you because those are very important to understand and to get a glimpse of uh, how it's going. Um, despite all these difficult times we have with this, well, you know, these different situations in the world these days. But anyhow, great news are that, that our technology continues to develop in a rapid pace. So we have, as you might know, we have many, well, to be more specific, two um, demonstration and certification centers. One is in Bruce and the other one is located in United Arab Emirates. So in both of these locations the work is continuing and and many new tracking models are being well developed at the moment and about all of this i will tell you today uh, and of course we will cover the topic uh, about the technology itself as well and we will see how far we will get into uh, those seven points so we will seek answer why skyway uh, in this uh, presentation and i have seven different that will tell us why skyway is here to stay and why this technology is going to rock the world so to say and is going to be the number one second level transmission system but all right let's uh, continue a little bit about myself my name is michael i'm from estonia and i have been an uh, skyway investor and well uh, webinar conductor for about four years by now and it has been a great and as i mentioned to you before as well we have two demonstration and certification centers where we have this well they are basically a big parks where we have this uh, already well placed these uh, different track structures and the models are riding there and the constant development and testing and screening of the technology goes on and i have I'm honored to, uh, to have been both of these uh, demonstration and certification centers. Um, so, yeah, in Belarus and in United Arab Emirates. But all right, let's see what we have uh, to offer today. So the first new news I will uh, cover is that um, we have undergone the international financial audit. So the specialists uh, conducted the financial audit of the street transport company developer. And the uh, audit uh, uh, confirmed that the documents uh, provide a fairly the financial position of the organization for the year 2021 national standards. So it's a great news, and you can see the results in uh, results of the inspection also both in Russian and in English language. And those documents are possible to find in in your back office. So, if you do not have back office at the moment, feel free and be certain to ask from the person who invited who invited you to this presentation, or to from whom you received information about the Skyway. Ask uh, and say that you want to open your back office. So let him or or uh, uh, yes. Basically, let your um, let that person to help you with the verification process as well, because that's very important. And after that, you will receive all the information necessary, all the news, all the documents, audits, and uh, and of course the investment opportunities. But all right, let's see what else do we have here. Yes, so um, ever since we started, uh, well. Basically, um, in Sarcha, we have uh, 
demonstration certification the certification center is called the innovation center so whenever we start at the innovation center and of course after expo that took place uh, in the end of last year uh, up until march this year so ever since then we have there have so many visitors in our innovation center in Sasha in the United Arab Emirates and of course businessmen from Ghana also were recently there so they tested the string transport in Sasha and then they took a look uh, what what's going on basically and uh, the first stop of course what what they did there they they went to the passenger station and they were presented the certified tropical unicar yes so you heard by one model the unicar tropical unicar is already certified as well in united arab emirates so basically arab emirates uh, united arab emirates is like a window to tropical climate countries like vietnam india indonesia and so on and Africa, African countries, of course, as well, uh, such as Ghana, for example. And the tropical unicar is designed for regions to, uh, with temperatures up to 55 Celsius. So that's that's great. So of course, they also look at the dispatch room from which one person can control several rolling stocks. And then the operator, the mechanic, showed them that the control system is easy to use and works without failures. So that's also great. And then, of course, they they were shown the flagship of the project, which is the speed model of the string transport. And this vehicle is equipped with six-seated whip saloon and can reach speeds up to 500 kilometers per hour intercity. So that's also amazing. So the speeds are very high with our technology. But all right, let's see what else do we have here. Yes, that's a great news. So Anatoly Nitsky talked about the tender in Dubai, about new transport and construction in Sasha. So let's take a look. I will tell you briefly about what uh, what he said and what are his thoughts about. So basically about the process pro progress of the construction in Sasha, the installation of 46 intermediate supports and the construction of first anchor support has have been completed on the second line. So second line is soon to be open and soon ready to go and that's great news and the foundation and the lower level of the concrete walls of the second anchor supports have also been laid and it is planned to complete the work in the autumn of first year on the fourth line so you heard right we will have uh, four different track structures and i will tell you um, soon about well, I can tell you actually now, so there, there is no secret behind that. So the first track was the 400 meter track for a certification process of Tropical Unicorn and so to be a setup point so that so that the world would see what we are capable of and what is this all technology about. And the second tracks are more uh, longer. They are about uh, two and a half kilometers long, 2.4 to be exactly. And uh, those are meant for different purposes. Uh, one of them for sure is for heavy track. Uh, well, it, it is heavy track, so it, it has to hold uh, very well, like uh, sea containers for a second, which weigh very much. And, uh, and the passenger uh, models, which will take basically more than 100 people on board. So that's also uh, one of the idea. So different different models will be tested there, but on the fourth line, the installation of uh, of eight intermediate supports has been completed, as well as construction engineering work work on both anchor supports. Preparations are underway for the installation of the track structure. Anchor nodes have already been installed. The construction of the power supply has begun and it is planned to put this line into operation by the end of the year as well. Uh, about, about a new model of passengers uh, transport. A new model of passenger string transport has been developed at the production site in Belarus, and this vehicle seats 25 passengers and will be tested in such on line 4. This track will allow the model to accelerate up to 150 uh, kilometers per hour basically the models which are meant more for inner city are uh, the speeds are up to 150 kilometers per hour 
and the inter the, and between cities basically the longer distances as i mentioned before are up to 500 kilometers And to receive this speed, 150 kilometers per hour, 400 meter track, of course, is not that uh, long. So that's why we also need uh, this longer, almost two and a half kilometer long track structures. But now about the tender for the construction uh, of uh, tracks in Dubai. So basically, the, the cooperation agreement with RTA, which is the Roads and Transport Authority, hmm, there was signed a co cooperation agreement about um, two years ago between Skyway and between the RTA. And uh, all this time, the preparation for the tender has been continuing. At first, 30 different countries applied for the project. As a result, RTA experts selected only five proposals, and we are among the leaders, but the competition will decide everything. So let's hope, let's hope that, uh, that, uh, RTA and UNISCA and all these um, brilliant workers there will manage to get us as winners in, in this competition and we will get the chance to ride with Skyway soon in Dubai. So that, that's a great hope and, and that's really, really close. And now about the new high-speed transport. The new high-speed transport is currently being designed, which will surpass the existing model in terms of characteristics. In particular, uh, Skyway members have improved the aerodynamics that will allow to reach the design speed with a less powerful engine. And transport will also become more comfortable. In the new model, there will be uh, we see as well, so toilet. And in addition, we ha they have worked out the uh, possibility of joining several vehicles to increase the cap capacity to 40 passengers. That's also important that, uh, that we are capable to bring more people on board at the same time so that we can serve more people. Yes. All right. So that's about this news. Now let's continue and see what else we have here. Yes, Abu Dhabi. So only great news at the moment from United Arab Emirates as they have coming up for past few years now. As we see, a great work goes there and we have we have this, uh, well, we have received these great hot contacts or, or warm uh, connections with uh, high level authority members. That's that's great. But uh, all right, let's let's more into this news as well. The general designer of transport uh, company, developer Dr. Antonio Niski, has held a meeting with representatives of Abu Dhabi government and the parties discuss options for introducing the technology in the city, so in the Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi government is investigating the transport systems that will not only transport locals but also take tourists to new attractions and one of such places branch of the Louvre a cruise terminal and an amusement park. Uh, the Abu Dhabi experts and car authorities believe the string transport system is well suited to these the tasks and the tracks can be built without changing the architecture or uh, relocating utilities. The transport will not harm the environment and will make travel more comfortable and safer. A further uh, important advantage is cost efficiency. It is cheaper to introduce string transport than to build a tramway or an additional metro line. That's also very important to notice. And the specialists from Abu Dhabi and the company developer identified three potential transport routes. To do so, the project engineers have visited the sites of possible tracks, studied construction specifications, and calculated approximate commercial fees. The results were presented to the Abu Dhabi government. The city officials have highly appreciated the work done and the construction of the link tracks will now be discussed at the highest level in Abu Dhabi government. So again, hopefully this goes, uh, this goes as expected. And again, we, we can all, we, the members of uh, Skyward community and, and um, well, and the other people all around the world can soon uh, go and take a ride with Skyway 
or use that test to, to go to do because really I have been on on the same what you can see behind me on the same model the uh, unicar up high uh, in Belarus was about 12 meters uh, up high from the ground and it was just brilliant to see all the surroundings and, and it's very smooth and uh, very cool so it is a technology and as you can see development and and then everything goes on so so quickly of course uh, we get the green light all this pre uh, making these projects and then uh, well construction work this takes time but uh, it's worth the effort for sure now let's talk about the process of track number two construction in Sarja. so basically the uh, construction of container terminal and container depot on track two continues uh, at the testing center in Sasha. And let's talk about the container terminal. Yeah, the main stages of the construction have been completed. I will show you one photo as well. I have here multiple photos of this place. Uh, the construction of the, um, well, the main stages of construction have been completed. The so specialist has some finishing left to do. But this work will only take place once the track structure has been installed. Uh, this order is necessary as so as not to damage the plaster and paint to the loads during the tension of the race. The construction on the site takes place in accordance with environmental, sanitary and hygienic and fire protection requirements. All materials are certified in your Emirates, of course. So now let's see. I will show you one more picture here. Yeah. About the container depot. Uh, there are continuing works, for example, preparations uh, are underway to install the roof and anchor unit. In the future, string rails will be attached to this structure as well. The Canary Depot is intended for parking and repair of the freight transport. There is no server and dispatch room here, that's important to notice. And all the systems are from the service station on the first line. So basically we can use one service station to operate and manage multiple track structures and that's great as well uh, for the future as as uh, as we imagine already that we have many many tens of uh, different track structures then we then we do not uh, one specific um, well one specific place for each track but we can do all those or maintain uh, and manage all those track structures from one place all right that's about it of this now india has uh, shown some uh, interest high interest actually not some interest but high interest uh, towards our our company and towards our project and basically in technology center in sasha mm, welcome delegations from india so basically this uh, uh, this man, Mr. Gyan Singh Rathori, is a representative of Indian Ministry of Tourism and he did the site. And uh, he was uh, accompanied by the managing partner at Ecolid Building Contracting um, International Construction Company. The meeting began uh, with the project presentation at which the guests got to know about the advantages of the string transport and discussed applications of the technology in the Indian tourism sector. In particular, they were interested in building tracks in the mountainous area of the state of Goa. And uh, also, well, I should highlight that the project now has all the necessary resources to implement commercial orders in any region of India, regardless of the scape and climate conditions. And that's also, we are very flexible and that's very important to know. And the delegates were also introduced to the high speed of the string transport, which can accelerate up to, as I mentioned before, can you guess it? Yes, 500 kilometers per hour outside the city. And the guests probably appreciated the vehicle's comfortable saloon and multimedia system. Yes, so that's about it. And that, that's in. Then we have had visitors from uh, different African countries, from Vietnam, for example, from European countries. So even from Estonia, very high level members and excellent was uh, there at, during the expo at our innovation center and, and got the chance to see the technology itself. And uh, she was presented it. So these are all very amazing. But all right, 
let's continue. Now, uh, I, I believe I have some uh, for you. So yes, mm, the national uh, the edition of National published an article on on uh, testing of the sink freight models in Sarcha and construction of targeted projects. We have well. I have chosen the most important uh, important from this material to present to you do today. So about Unicont. Unicont is basically the freight transportation, the sea container transportation system. And uh, the container carrier testing in Sarsha is scheduled to begin in December 2022, so this year, or January Neger. And the 2.4 kilometer track will allow the vehicle to reach speeds up to and now notice up to 120 kilometers per hour. So uh, recent times we knew that um, the sea container transportation system Unicont will be able to reach speeds up to 90 kilometers per hour. But uh, now during this uh, process of, of development, we have uh, gained another 30 kilometers per hour. Mm, uh, so up to 120 kilometers per hour it's possible and, and the other important thing to notice is that basically sea containers can ride both above the track structure and go at the same time so simultaneously in either two directions or one direction but simultaneously two sea con uh, unicons can have at the same time which is amazing because if you think about the trains which mostly take from at least on the mainland which mostly take the sea containers from one place to another Mm, those can only well there is one track structure on the landscape and uh, one uh, train can go at the same time of course we can many trains um, after after the first one goes to second and so on but uh, simultaneously uh, like up and down no way it's it's not possible and the skyway is also brilliant but uh, now the second question is where the tracks may be built, which is a very good uh, question, which nation, the nation uh, also covered. And one of the possible projects is a double track freight route from the port uh, on Tinkan Island in Nigeria to the Sea of Lagos. And the 20 kilometer track will cost about 280 million US dollars. And another route can connect Shebel Ali in the United Arab Emirates with Al Maktoum International Airport. And that's uh, about 18.5 kilometer uh, long um, line and will allow containers to be delivered in 15 minutes. So if the average speed basically for uh, trucks or trains uh, to take the sea containers is about 20 kilometers per hour um, because the um, traffic, uh, traffic and so on, then uh, going about five uh, times uh, with five times higher speeds, it's just brilliant. Think about the efficiency and, and um, the cost that will be minimalized if we have these different technology, uh, techno technologies. Yeah. So it's all amazing. Isn't it brilliant? You can uh, leave uh, yeah, your comments uh, down below and then say what you think about think about the technology and are you are you happy with what you see and what you hear so all right now to all the members uh, and the discover community members and and uh, and people who are thinking about taking part of this technology are thinking about how can i also well involve myself more into the process of this development and benefit from from the success of a company then there is a offer which is called Faces of the Future, and it's going to end. Uh, uh, well, this, it's going to end in the end of this month, so thirty-first uh, of August. Of course, there will be another promotions or possibilities to, to the part of the success of this company and invest. But but this is really really great uh, opportunity, and I will tell you briefly about this right now. So basically, uh, till uh, 31st of August, you can invest at the discount of one to nine. So basically, for every invested one US dollar, we, we will receive 90 or you will receive 90 shares of the well, mother company, of the technological company. So wherever in the world 
in the future the new tracks will be built and they will benefit the company and uh, bring in profits then a certain amount of those uh, profits will be divided among all the investors uh, depending on how much shares they have so therefore it's great to own and have as many shares as we can get and what is else great with the faces of the future is we will get our uh, well a hologram with our name or with your photo at the string transport museum in belarus and uh, well the investment conditions are the same so basically uh, we can um, divide the amount of uh, necessary investment for this campaign which is 5000 US dollars we can divide it by 10 months so 500 US dollars each month or we can uh, some uh, or we can pay as as a, as a lump sum 5000 US dollars so but all this information is in your back office so feel free and and uh, well go to, go there if you do not have it back office then Make sure that you will uh, get your back office and get verified and then you can make an investment as well but all right that's it with our uh, with our news today as you can see already almost half hour has gone on the news so today we will talk very briefly about the uh, technology itself and next time how we'll tell you more about the technology lessons that uh, which Today we will not be able to talk because of the time, of course. But um, but all right. So we will take a look at the future, and then we'll see when we get to the first point out of seven, which I told you at the beginning of the uh, webinar. There are seven specific points, or uh, well, answers, uh, which will tell us why Skyway is here to stay and why Skyway be the technology that is going to be used uh, widely all around the world. But uh, first, let's take a look back uh, 100 years ago when a visionary and artist pictured our future in 100 years, so basically nowadays, uh, as you can see on this slide. So what I like to describe uh, with this slide myself, my personal thoughts, are that we today in at least in developed countries mostly europe uh, united states and so on we have these brilliant technologies the ground floor technologies the first level technologies all the cars tramways trolley buses trains we even have these uh, subways and metros uh, underneath us in rome for example in paris but the new challenges still arose because the population grows more and more people come to move, uh, come to live and work in in the cities, in the centers and so on. So therefore new challenges are constantly arousing and we just cannot tear down uh, the old buildings to widen the road, for example. And that's why the, what I see is that the, the best and maybe the only solution is that we go to the same level. And that's why Skyway, Skyway is here. And as you can see, it's just so beautiful. Yes. All right. And of course, people have tried and, and have successfully as well done it um, before. But those are 19th century technologies. They're already well wore out, worn out, so to say. They are so massive, but very expensive. And there are attributes uh, which, which are not able to beat the skyway or, or even even uh, or even uh, be as good as skyway and so so there are many 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 different aspects why skyway is will rule out basically these technologies but this specific what you can see on this photo is monorail and uh, as you saw it's it's very massive as well but uh, now let's see the uh, well the comparison between Unitsky string transports, well Skyway, and then monorail. So yeah, first of all, the track length is up to 50 kilometers only, so it's limited with monorail. With Unitsky string transport, as we know, Dr. Anton Unitsky also has said that his idea is there will be a connection between the cities, between the continents, so there will be tens of thousands of uh, track structures which are all connected 
and then so therefore track length is unlimited and also the speeds inside the cities as I mentioned before up to 150 kilometers per hour and between cities for example uh, up to 500 kilometers per hour are the speeds so only some maybe Maglev and in Japan there are bullet trains which are about 300 and more kilometers per hour can compete with Skyway uh, at this specific uh, uh, the, the niche, so the speed niche. Yes, and what is else great? To, what, what else is great to know is that we do not have uh, air on board, as all these other uh, transportation technologies have today. Though this will be remotely controlled from the station, and, and that's great as well. So it will be very intelligent and very smart system. And it connects and screens all the surroundings if there will be any obstacle on the way in the stops and so on so it's, it's it's a smart system and one more thing it runs 100 percent on electricity so it has its own motor wheels its own batteries and it, it it can even there it can even be solar panels implemented or winter so so therefore it's it's great great to know but uh, now one of the most important one of course the costs are also as you heard from previous slides uh, are similar with tramway but even cheaper so the costs are also much lower than all these known transportation technologies that can compete with skyway so to say but uh, mm, traffic interval about that now and that, that's very important to know that well basically we can send out a new well if we have, if we have unicars on the track then we can send out uh, another unicar after each three seconds that's the maximum basically so one goes and three seconds the other one can go but just we have to bear in mind the time that people need to get on board and off board so therefore it's 20 50 seconds the traffic interval but because of the traffic interval the traffic interval is so short therefore the flow of people can be very high so the traffic capacity as you can see here as well it's almost five times uh, higher than with monorail but, and and that's great news all right and here is one metro just just the picture now yes so basically this specific uh, transportation system is uh, possible to see in berlin uh, also very massive and as you can see the supports there are uh, basically after each 10 or 50 meters uh, by the riverside there are this green green We can see the right side supports so the, those are after each 50 maybe 20 meters but with skyway for example same uh, model or the same track structure which is behind me those supports can be after one to uh, to two kilometers so the distance between four so that's also great so the higher we take the transfer the track structure the longer the distance between different supports can be of course if there are unicons or the very he heavy uh, well, very heavy uh, models on the track structure, so the support have to be in shorter distance. And this uh, technology now is uh, is possible to see in China. It's basically by it. Well, mm, it's basically like a tram by its technological aspects, but it's just upside down, hanging hanging them so to say but otherwise it's it's similar and now this technology this is uh, basically a um, i have the word in my mind this is a cable car and i believe this is one of the one of the most well um, seen around the world because it's made for touristic attractions it's also quite high and well i have myself seen in in many places for example like in turkey in vietnam also in romania i know it's in the united states in russia for example and many other places as well installed and serving people uh, tourists mainly 
and then why I say tourist and, and it's made mostly for tourist attraction is that because it is uh, the average speed about uh, is about 15 kilometers per hour so it's it's quite slow and the other aspect is that if you take a look on the right side the, the orange wheel there so to say or the engine so basically that spins the cable so the cable moves but the car on the cable does not move so the car stays it's basically like sued to the to the cable it sticks it sticks on the same spot all the time and then the, the cable moves this orange engine spins the cable and then the cable car uh, itself moves as well and that's the main difference between skyway Skyway has its own wheels motor wheels And, and the track structure says uh, all the time the same, but, but the models, the unicars, unibuses, uh, uh, uniwind, those, those models move, as you can see here as well. But all right. So yes, welcome to the new age. This is, the, this is a message to you. And then uh, today we will finish our presentation. Thank you all for coming, of course. And sorry. And as I always like to show this photo as well in the end of the presentation, where Dalai Lama gave his blessings to Dr. Anatoly Nitsky, and he said that uh, this path you have taken, it's not going to be easy, but eventually you will be successful. So the spiritual guidance and the spiritual thing we also have. But thank you all again for coming to the to today's presentation, and uh, we'll see you again um, in September when I will talk specifically only about the seven reasons why Skyway is here to stay. So, of course, a little bit about the brief briefing about the history as well as I did today. But uh, the news uh, about the news those i won't cover next time only the reasons why sky is here so more about the technology we'll talk about the track structure what's inside the track structure how it's holding it itself up and then the skyway is so economical and and so on but uh, 14th of september the same time 7 p.m uh, so gmt plus two is the time so take a look what time it is in your in your country Of course, uh, via YouTube, it's possible to um, see this uh, presentation um, after after live as well. So, thank you again for coming, and wish you a great, great, uh, well, evening. All right, goodbye.